Greetings, ladies and gentle players, and welcome this October, Friday, 2020. Another wonderful day for basics. But it is October, so it should be spooky basics. And what is spookier than playing AI? Ooh. Uh, yeah, so long story short, I found someone commenting in my channel about uh, playing bots. And without even thinking, I was like, Psh, don't play bots. Bots suck. They're terrible. You can't learn anything from playing them, says the person who hasn't played those Q bots in lots and lots of years. I essentially have no idea what I'm talking about. That's a problem. What if, what if it is helpful to play them? What, what if it's really good for you? I don't know. I need to fix that. So I figure... I, sh I should be playing some bots. And where better to play bots than good old online-go.com where you can go ahead and click easy button and choose your time settings. Which were not going to be one hour. That was my simul settings. And then see what you want to play against. What do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to answer the question, and probably maybe next week too. Is it useful to play bots? So all right, let's strap on our DDK goggles and pick ourselves a nice... I don't want to play something called a new spectral. Now that sounds that sounds baller, but noob seems like it's better. Maybe I should play noob instead of spectral. I mean the ranks are right there. Clearly, I should be playing the noob. What if I play the doge? Doge bot is sa okay. Doge bot sounds hot and is way better than the, the the noob sounding bot, but it's not spectral. And why is Spectral 10k 13q? And why is Spectral 13k 12q? This is, these are these are very confusing names. Tell you what, for our DDK our uh, DDK lessons, we are going to play Doge Bot number four because you can't go wrong with the Doge. Random color 1033, obviously live, and we're not going to play ranked. And let's see. Maybe this is going to be great. Maybe I'm going to start recommending humans play robots to learn. Game, Game started. started. All right, here we go. This bot, uh, join new bot group, have fun. All right, I'm white. What do we got here? Three fours from my, uh, didn't I literally just fix this before I went live? What the heck? There we go. All right, doing dual four fours because dual four fours is pretty nice. As you can see, we're playing Doge. Gonna go ahead and grab myself an enclosure. Mini Chinese, mini Chinese versus DDK. Okay, I'll give it that. I'll give it. I'll give it a DDK a mini Chinese attempt. Sure, sure, sure. Pincering here, huh? Okay. Just go ahead and settle. Oh, snap, he played the Hane, or it did, I guess, right? Not the simple variation. We usually teach this one as a simple variation, not that thing, but... All right, let's see where it wants to go. All right, now here for basics, I don't teach this little guy. I'll just do this one instead, and then probably go ahead and pincer him. Playing away and not completing the Jiseki. Uh, hmm. Tell you what, in the interest of basics, I will answer this even though you shouldn't, and you should hammer this right now and surround that corner. That is a really huge mistake to make. All right, that's better. I've got the Sente. Um, I could do this because, I mean, this is a potential kill. I could also play here, because why not? Or we could pin, we could do a lot of things. What would I recommend as a DDK? I would follow up. Following up, I shall go. 
doesn't seem to care. All right, it's just gonna let me kill off the upper left-hand corner. Sure, why not? We are surrounded now. I kind of want to... I kind of want to... I'm not going to play down. A lot of times in basics, I would say just go and defend here, but I want to know if it's going to do what we usually see at Q level, which is the push and then the throw in for the whole gotcha moment. So I'm going to I'm gonna do a two-space jump out. No. Okay, that's not what it was doing. Um. Well, all right then. There's a corner open, so I'll go ahead and approach like so. Should be playing here, not there. That's a weirdo move. But all right, once we go to the corner, corner I shall go into. Uh huh. Not following up, so there's a cutting point here. Ah, <sighs> this thing. So one of the reasons why we traditionally didn't say to play bots is because of their. Uh, "Quote unquote desire to just play randomly, and they're not play rain. Blah, 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 blah. They're not randomly playing good moves. They're just randomly playing bizarre moves that you don't understand. You'd have to like to try to figure out like, okay, why is it playing here? You have to get a group of people together and be like, that thing just played that. What what do we do about it? And if you're gonna do that, then you need a place to gather the group of people." to discuss the bots move and where better to find a group of people than to go to the one-stop shop for in-person go and sign up create an account look at the map and find out where people are around you for when you can play go in person again that is clearly what you want to do you know you want to do it you want to go here and bookmark so you're ready the minute you're allowed out of the house again so why haven't you done it if you haven't already done so Thanks again, in part, to Club for sponsoring his videos. Let's see, now I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure, because the two space is not settled. Not defending! How weird! I will go ahead and simply defend like Sue. Alright, so I think we're just going to go and kill this. Oh, I don't want to kill anything. Hmm. Do I follow up? Hmm. You know what happens if you follow up. He dies. Uh-huh. If I go here, he's gonna like go maybe do a one point jump or something. I don't wanna do it. Well, much as I don't like it. All right, let's just follow up. Honey, B17, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Now we have to decide if this is alive or dead. I'll... In the interest of the basics, that is not the right move. Yeah, this can still die. Just, Just play here. He plays there, 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 there. Dead. Whatever, let's pretend it's alive. We're gonna pretend it's alive. I'll go ahead and I'll put pressure on these two stones. Put pressure on these two stones. There's also a cutting point here. You can do it. Nope, not gonna do it. That's not very useful. Again, I'm... This is annoying me because this cutting point exists. Tell you what, I'm gonna Hane here. See what you want to do now. How you defend. Okay. And Hane here. And here. Sir. Could you not? That'd be fantastic if you didn't. Thank you. How do I deal with this though? Like, I, I, I'm gonna, he's gonna, are you gonna kill yourself here? I'm trying to not kill you, you see. What was the point of this? That's so strange. Um, either way, I'm going to connect now. So yeah, this is just dealing with people that are, uh, I guess you play bots if you want to deal with people that are just kind of randomly playing weirdo things. Because right now, I mean, I could go on a killing spree. The top can die, this top can die, or this can die. 
because this is just inherently not alive. Um, I can surround this, which means this is going to have to struggle to run away. If you're like a wall here, sweep the base, nowhere to run, this gets killed. It's a bit awkward. So it looks like Dogebot here is pretty strong if you're a terrible attacker. And if you have no life and death skills. Because if you if you don't know that this is not alive, then you're like, oh my god, I'm so far behind. But if you can kill this, and you're like, wait a minute. This is like one, two, three, four lines of territory, along with the stones captured and, you know, all that good stuff. Maybe not as far behind as you think you are. Let's go ahead and keep this low. I need to watch my time. Let's go ahead and surround it. Uh-huh. Will it play normal Jiseki here? Atari? Uh-oh. It didn't go for life, which means this one dies. If I sweep this, it has to Atari here. But I can Atari it back and then Atari again. It can't live locally, and if it can't escape, then it's dead. So I can reinforce here, because the Hane is just going to rip everything to shreds. Um... Let's see how well it pays attention. Will you save the two stones or too small? You will save the two stones. Will you really save them? You're not. Oh, you did. It almost passed my test. If it identified these two stones as being not large, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, that was a pretty good read. Pretty good read. Way to go, Doge. Unfortunately, it did not do that. And unfortunately, I cannot play here in the interest of basics. So we will go ahead and poke this. And we'll just follow up. Clamp, drop, or not. Okay, I got that one wrong. That's unfortunate. Oh, geez, no, don't do this. No, you were doing so well for kind of a little bit, little doge. Now this corner is enormous. Now that corner is uh, enormous. Okay, so here I'm getting a little bit uh, scrunched. So I'm going to push this thing into living. I'm going to try to push it into living, unless it knows it's dead. It knows it's dead! Really? Oh my god! I think maybe it knows it's dead here. Yeah, it's it's looking like it knows it's dead up top. Huh. Well, I was going to let you live there, sir. Well, I guess we'll come on in then. Uh, okay. Question mark? Oh, come on. You can't hold that. You know it. I know you can read that, Doge. Threaten double Atari. Definitely shouldn't do this. See, now it's crumbling completely. It's having trouble reading basic liberties, it looks like. Maybe Dogebot is just programmed to take big points. And it can't read its way out of paper bag. Because a 9Q would never do this. A 9Q would absolutely know there's a double friggin' Atari here. You know? No, absolutely no way. I refuse to believe that, yeah, I refuse. I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. Sorry, I know you guys hate it. I just enabled uh, RTX because there is some... I I'm not recording at the dead of night like I usually do where everyone's asleep. Uh, unfortunately, Shoot. there's some noise out my window, Deal. and that would come uh. out on video. So I, I've gone ahead and enabled RTX voice to automatically crunch that. So if my voice is now a little bit weird, I'm sorry. But you know, I didn't defend the middle, so that just got killed off. What else can we kill off? Can we kill off this too? Yeah, like... Uh, yeah, uh, a, a human just wouldn't play this way in any way, shape, or form. I don't... I don't really see the value in playing against this as a 9Q. 
That's that can die too. That's truth. I don't see this being able to go anywhere. Will it resign now? Will it resign now? Maybe so, huh? Because, yeah, this is just dead. This is all connected on outside, so there's nowhere for that to go. I mean, I don't know. I'll play this, I guess. In case it thinks it can get some kind of eye here. Yeah, see. Well, might as well go ahead and kill this too, because why not? Throw in here to falsify that. Falsify that. Um, make sure that's dead. That just died in Gote. Okay, I'll give it Sentai. What will it do with Sentai? Will it save its stone or help its liberty? Hmm, went down. Interesting. I can hone it that it's. Retreat, foul villain. You are not wanted here. Throw in the kill. Back, I say. Oh, God. Yeah, see, it's really blind on liberties. You can probably just randomly cut everything to keep winning against this thing. We're definitely going to have to kick things up to 5Q. Because I'm not really seeing much difference overall between uh, this bot at uh, 9Q and what they've classically been at. You know what I mean? I will... I'll just connect. Atari me go to Ko? Atari me go to Ko. Clever. Sure, let's see how, can, let's see how well you can do a Ko. Let's play a Ko. Where is a co threat? Um, I don't know. What's threatening? This one? Now, could Atari. No, it doesn't do a co. Okay. Can't do co. That was always a notorious failure for bots. They could not. They could not figure out co. Here, we're going to go ahead and surround. That, uh, I'll double tap with a nice little connection here. Now, this should definitely be resignation. Like, we, we have long, long past silly. And now we have reached a new level that I don't even know what to say about it. There's just no reason to keep playing this game. You have one. All right, so that is way destroyed. Thanks for playing. If you want a weaker, stronger bot with you, recommend try play with the ELO test. It can calculate and match your rank after a few games. Can it? All right, let's look at this uh, little graph we have here. I'm going to go full screen for this. You can see here that... Apparently, it was never up. Black never had a single spike here above 50%. That's, that's pretty oof. Yeah, because that upper left-hand side, yeah, it just didn't like that. It just didn't like that. I mean, I get that the AI never likes going into a framework game, so yeah, it's always going to evaluate this pretty harshly against Black for going to a framework. Like, framework? Framework nowadays? Are you stupid? Like, okay, I get that. I get that. But you can see here that it just went like, nope, because of the top. Because of the top. It's just, you're not defending this? Instant game over at move 15. 80% chance to lose at move 15. And I, I, I gotta agree with it. I grabbed that one. 81% chance. Now, here, it played away. Why? It didn't like me so much. It gave him a chance again. Why is a bot thinking that? 
Oh, because, yeah, th I shouldn't be... Pl yep, yep, you're right. Yeah. So, that, like I said, it, it's very small. Like I said, very, very small. And then there's just no chance. Like, look at this. We're here at a 100% chance to win. Where was 100% chance? Where'd it get hit? Here, at move 100. 100% chance to win because it's look. it knows that this is dead. This is probably going to die too because it can't go anywhere. The right is also just not alive. And oof. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Started. Okay, so there's no reason to play the 9Q bot again. That's for sure. No reason to do that. Um, Anything to talk about here? Not really. Like, I would think anyone any human would obviously know i i gotta play here again or i'm gonna be surrounded ghost called the surrounding game so let's not let that happen to me and then i'd probably play this one in a basics game and then do something like that i guess yeah do something like this instead no it's not really uh what happened played there I got the big move in. I mean, why not? Jumped out, which is okay, but I don't know. The attachment there, again, just not what you're supposed to do. Maybe here, maybe here. Here, if it wanted to try to live, it could try something like this one. And then here. It could try to live that way. It could it could it could also try to live this way. You have to be very careful though. Because as we've already mentioned, we've got this one for a nice bent four in the corner for later on. End of the game, bent four is dead. That is, in fact, what the uh, robot was picking up on. Two space extension, two space ascension, neither of which are alive. We always teach to jump out, make sure you can't get surrounded again. Ghost called the surrounding game. It's not protecting itself. No attempts to cut. And then when we really saw it start to lose was when... It couldn't read out, like, little things like cuts. It really struggled with liberties. Like, this one right here. Like, you defend this one, I take this one. Maybe you play here into here. Easy to do. Instead, it atari me back, which defended nothing. I can drop down right now. I still have the Atari here. Double Atari there. Uh, 9Q, DDKs? No, I'm... No, I think... I think right now I'm, I'm gonna say do not play Dogebot. Because just about everything it plays uh, is gonna die. That's fun, don't get me wrong. But it can't co. It can't read liberties. Um, yeah, very, very, very awkward bot. So I'm going to stick with newer players. Should not be trying to play bots weaker than 9Q at the moment because it looks like they're not going to be teaching you a whole lot. You definitely wouldn't want to try to emulate what you see a higher ranked bot play. Definitely not. Definitely not. Especially after we go through the trouble of teaching like DDKs, for example, you know, make sure you pay attention to your liberties, uh, your cutting points, your eye shapes, uh, trying to get surrounded, and then this thing gets surrounded. It doesn't watch its liberties or its eye shapes or anything that we tell them to do. So, yeah, I'm going to give Dogebot a hard pass on this one. I think next game, what we'll do is kick it up to 5 or 4Q and see if maybe one of those bots are better. And then after that, we'll look at one of the infamous Wondon bots and see how they are. 
and who knows, maybe we'll play a stronger bot as well. Either way, this was this was interesting. I, I, I actually expected I expected better performance, to be honest. I did expect better performance from uh, a bot at 9Q. But we'll try again.